Hello, it's me from the future, and turns out I actually put some Hearthstone video in the background, so hope you guys enjoyed that too. Hello everybody, I'm Santa Gaming, and welcome to some scary true stories. None of these stories are actually mine, and I can't confirm that they are all true stories. But I can confirm one thing that happened to me and my friends a while back. But I'll only be covering that story at the end of this video. Starting off, something tried to possess me. My now ex-wife and I just gotten married and moved into a new neighborhood. We moved in, in the winter. As spring came, we noticed there were multiple dead animals. Birds, squirrels, raccoons. In the yard. We cleaned them all up and started to improvements to the outside of the house and painting on the inside. I started to notice strange things going on. Keys not where I left them, stuff like that small. I thought I was just being forgetful. Then things slowly start to escalate. While in bed, I could swear I can hear a barely audible conversation, like a radio in a far room. As soon as I would try to focus on it, it would go away. I start to hear footsteps at the end of the house. One night, while laying in bed, I hear a huge crash. Woke me up out of dead sleep. I went to the kitchen and saw my kid's hamster cage on the floor about 15 feet from where it was. We would put it on top of the fridge at night because we had a cat and didn't want getting it, getting to it. Now I know what you're thinking. Cat knocked it off. But this cage had to fly over a breakfast bar and the kitchen table to get to its resting place. Then things got ugly. I would be sitting at home watching TV and I would have this uncontrollable thought. What would it be like to be possessed? Or I want to be possessed. I couldn't get this thought out of my head. I couldn't concentrate on anything but that. I would literally have to say in my head, I love God, I love Jesus, over and over to get off the original thought. I need to add that I am not a religious person. As soon as I would leave the house, I would be fine. Not one thought. But as soon as I pulled in my driveway, I would start up again. Uncontrollable. I thought I was going crazy. I sat down with my wife and looked her dear in the eyes and said, I think I'm going crazy. I've had, I've been having weird thoughts. She turned white, and before I could say any more, she said, that, that you want to be possessed? Come to find out for the past month, she had been having the exact same thoughts that we started to compare stories. She told me that she was laying in bed without me. I worked seconds at the time, and she could hear a man whispering through the baby monitor while our child was fussing. Needless to say, we moved out within the month, ate the deposit. Her oldest daughter was still in school, and we had moved across town. I had to pick her up at the house on my days off when she got dropped off by the bus. As soon as I turned the corner, I would get those thoughts. I would sit in my car in the driveway and not even go inside and wait. Well, that was a little bit of an interesting story. Now to the next one. This story is called A Warning. Me and some friends had just graduated high school and wanted to do something fun now that we had some free time. We end up going camping on this Native American land in California. Well, we spent like two days there and then packed up to go home. On our way out of the land, me and my friends started to joke around about natives and said things like, drive faster before they shoot us with their arrows, and bullshit like that. Now of nowhere, our car hits a bump, as if we had ran something over. We stop and try to see if we hit an animal, but then we see it. It was like some fucked up skinny, long-legged coyote. We start looking at each other, debating on what we should do. 
And then, the coyote starts getting up, and we see its real size. That shit was massive. So me and my friends are already shitting our pants at this moment, so we decide to get the flying fuck out of there. Then, we saw what we still don't bring up today. While leaving the scene, me and the driver hear our two friends in the back scream and shout, Oh my fucking god, get us out now! Me and the driver check our mirrors, and then the coyote was fucking walking off into the distance on its fucking hind legs. We jammed faster out of that creepy ass land and didn't say a word till we got back on the freeway. To this day, I still I still think we might have been just seeing things, but it looks so real. This is the worst thing that I can remember when it comes to shit like that. Now just imagine that happening to you. That shit would be fucking scary as shit. Alright, our next story. The tall man. I once worked on an Indian reservation, and it's late at night in South Dakota. Some friends and I are driving. One of them is native, and we are discussing folk tales of the area. Suddenly, I see the white light running towards the road across the plains, and my friends step on the brakes. You're doing that because you saw it too, right? Yeah. We pull up to the area and there's nothing there. I have goosebumps all the way back to where I'm staying. That night, I have awful dreams about native warriors trying to destroy New York City. Then I awake up with something breathing in my ear, whispering to me. I scream my friend's name and he looks over at me and tells me it's okay. I fall back into the same dream over and over again. I keep trying to change the outcome. The next day, my friend told me when he woke up and saw me screaming a massive shadow was above me. The tall man. Not slender man. This guy is different. My friend didn't want to tell me he saw it since he knew it would freak me out even more was afraid to sleep for weeks, smudged the crap out of my room, put sage on the window still, and hung up mad dream catchers. Shit was scary, but also kind of funny. I think they had fun messing with the white girl. Well now, fuck that shit. Next time you that, if shit like that happens to you, do the same fucking thing. Alright, lastly, before I get to my story, another skinwalker. My dad kind of had a similar occurrence. I told this a few days ago. This was the early 80s and my sister lived in Toronto. One day she decided to come down to see some old friends and visited with our parents. I wasn't born yet. Who live in a rural area, all farm country and forest. She stayed late and left around 9 p.m. This was late fall, so it was nearly pitch black. But about 8 miles into the drive back to town, the car she borrowed broke down. Luckily, she broke down in front of a house. To let her use their phone to call dad to come pick her up. After he came down, the people let her park the car in the driveway until the next day. It was about 10 p.m. when they started driving back to my parents. She decided to just stay the night after this. They went through a wooded area, trees as far as the eye can see on both sides, when suddenly they hear this incredibly fucking loud, inhumane scream that was louder than the car, even louder than the fucking radio. That slammed on the brace, and they were like, what the fuck was that? when suddenly something appeared on the side of the road. It was a fucking coyote. Only it was about six fucking feet tall and walking upright on its hind legs. Crossed in front of the car and went to the other side of the road and then the same scream happened again, only ten times louder than before. Dad slammed on the accelerator and got the fuck out of there. He only told me this once. But look on his face when he told me it. 
And knowing the kind of guy he is, I believe him. Well, there you go. We got another... We had another one. The, not the tall man. The... What is that called? I think it was... Oh, no. Yeah. Or fuck. Oh, I can't remember. Whatever one it was called. Either way, it was... um Same kind of thing. Uh, yeah. The native land one. When they went camping. Alright, so... Here comes to a time where it's my story. Something I lived out, and I can tell you, it actually happened. Me and my friends still talk about it to this day from time to time. But this shit fucking happened, and it scared the shit out of us. Maybe not to others, but when you, when it happens to you, and you're living the moment, it's nothing. Alright, so... What happened to us is, in 8th grade, we had a trip to Quebec, Canada. We went to a place called Vieux Quebec. It's um, kind of like a memorial place where it's all old houses. It's a very, um, how you call it, tourist attraction. But anyways, we were there with the school, and fuck this shit. Mess us up. So we were just following this class and crap. We are looking around, we're seeing all these like murals and history crap. When all of a fucking sudden we see a guy in black and white suit. Glasses and everything, like like one of the fucking men in black looking at us. We look back at him and, and then he turns around and just kinda doesn't acknowledge us. We fucking turned to each other, me and my friend, and we're like, you see that? It's like, and then I told him, I saw that, but it's it's nothing. It's just coincidence or whatever. And then we continue on with our day. About 20, 15 to 20 minutes later, we see another fucking one. Another guy in a black and white suit. Another men in black or some shit. Looking at us. We fucking flip shit. We're like, you, f you fucking see this, right? And that's when we we got started getting a little scared. And so, we looked at him again. He just kind of looked away, continued on again. Just kind of just, it was just a mistake or some shit like that. The last fucking time, everybody in our class, they were all getting beaver tails because you know fucking Canada, right? I don't get beaver tails. We didn't want beaver tails or ice cream or whatever. We just kind of stood around, waited. And we were very paranoid. We were looking around, seeing if there was any men in black or whatever. And then we we look up a little a little hill or something. It was, um, yeah. And there was a fucking men in black. He was walking straight at us. We saw him, and then we... F we fucking fucked shit, man. It was... We looked at it. He turned around again. Like, how could this happen three times in a row? And all the same thing. They're all wearing suits. They're all wearing black tinted glasses. You couldn't see them. But then we, that, we were really scared the shit out of us. But then we got on the bus to go back to our hotel because we're just staying there for the week since it's a school trip. And fuck, this is shit when we started like theorizing of what is going on. We're on the bus and we're just kind of like talking about it, saying like, like what the shit actually happened there. And we look out the window and there was a fucking guy in the car following us. Guess who the fuck it was? men and black guy and that shit just fucked us up didn't occur to us uh, anything really happened or whatever but hell the whole night we were staying in the hotel we were fucking paranoid we're like what if we like open the blinds and he's there what if like he follows us back or anything like that but hell like I was saying 
it might not be that scary, but when you fucking live it and it happened to you and you're not expecting your shit like that, it's a fucking different story. Anyways, that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will most likely be making more of these. Make maybe just scary videos I find. I'm a very kind of person that watch like fuck if you search up scary videos, scary creatures, scary alien videos, or anything like that. The first page I've watched most of them. I've watched most of these kind of videos and fuck it. Uh whenever I find a good one that actually put me to like scared I would say not really scared but hell that spooked me a little I'll definitely put it and keep it in mind so I can make a video about it anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you guys later